Hello, loved ones. Hope you're well and well in the Lord. Beautiful day that the Lord has made. We should be glad and rejoice. Yeah, today I decided to come live and talk to you about something. I'm talking to you, woman. I'm talking to you, man, who, for some reason, when you disagree, you want to take your disagreement in front of your children. The generation that we are in right now, we are raising very traumatized children because of some of the behaviors that we as old people can tame. Call me a name or two, but I'm going to tell you as it is. It is very insane of you to be rude to your wife or your husband alike in front of your children. You know why? Your child will look at you some type of way. She might not react, but I want to tell you that any child who's grown up has five senses, like you and me, as a way they sense, as a way they feel when the atmosphere is not right. Yeah, there's a way they sense or feel when the atmosphere is not right. So you may say, ah, after all, the baby is very small. After all, my daughter is not. You remember there's a clip I talked about here some years back, some months back. I shared a clip here of a father molesting the wife in front of the children. And I've seen the reason as to why we are, we are, we are, we are, you know, we are growing very traumatized children is the things they see us do in the house. So today I thought I should let you know. If you have disagreement with anyone, any aggrieved party between you and your wife, Take your disagreements in the bedroom, or better still, if you you know you're not going to, you don't have a small voice and you will be shouting on top of your head, in the, in the, shouting on top of your head in the bedroom. Why don't you walk out? Walk out. Go sort your issues elsewhere. Because at the end of the day, when your children are involved in listening to your mess and misuse of words, and then your child in school is calling other children's name and behaving the same way you and me behaved. Then, you will have no one to blame. I'm telling you, no one to blame. So I thought I should let you know, it's a short clip here, that let's not allow ourselves develop very traumatized children in our backyards because we're ignorant. Ignorant. Here, you, you love fighting. Here, Mr. Fighter, Congole for you. But do it away from your children if you have to do it you love shouting left right and center shout away from your children if you have to because at the end of the day when your children are children are behaving some type of way you will have no one to blame you keep on saying i don't know what is happening to my baby you'll look for all the pastors in this town they will pour anointing oil 20 liters on your child they will put your child upside down but it will be too late and some of these traits they learned from you because you cannot be told so I'm talking to you out here who does not know that whenever you're causing havoc in your family around your children you're messing it up for you to know today that it doesn't make you a less man it doesn't make you a less woman to solve your issues away from your children or better still to go outside and solve your issues outside yeah you can to go for a picnic even if you don't, you don't, you, 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 don't you, want to, you don't want to spend money on someone you're upset with, you can decide to go away from the house so that you can sort your issues. Yeah, thank me later. Because you wonder why we are, we are, we are having children that are so traumatized. It's because of what they see us do each and every day, what they hear us talk each and every day. And you will not blame anyone. You love yourself to blame. I thought I should let you know. Have a blessed time. Thank you.